Hello dear fans, uh, friends and uh, subscribers. Welcome to the Cricket Happening Show as usual. A bit early today. Uh, well, but uh, as far as uh, today's Cricket Happening Show is concerned, uh, what we are looking at is uh, basically the match uh, that one is waiting for where New Zealand will be uh, completing their tour of England today. Uh, as you know, the one day series was contested in a very, very fierce manner. Record runs were scored, as you know, uh, in one day international history, as a record was made uh, in one day international history when England and New Zealand completed their five match one day international series, which I would say uh, it was a great, um, 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 I would say, a great source of revenue. Uh, for the English cricket board, I think crowds would have definitely flocked them uh, and a lot of gate receipts for them. Uh, and well, England were the ones who actually won the match in the end 3-2. It was fiercely contested with both the teams not giving an inch. And today, once again, as I said, this is the final fling for New Zealand. New Zealand, after this match, would be flying back to their home country. And uh, well, they would definitely like to go off in a bit of glory, uh, but well now uh, the 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 kettle seems to be shifted now because what is going to happen is that you are going from one day international, the 50 over version to T20 cricket. Uh, there are some new names in the England camp I'll be looking at uh, who would probably make their T20 debut tomorrow. Uh, but uh, I will I will just do a brief preview because right now when I'm talking to you. Uh, there, there is another 3 hours and 40 minutes left uh, for this particular match to start the final match of the New Zealand Tour of England. So I will have to do a, a match summary tomorrow when I will be talking about this particular match. And also tomorrow there is another thing which is looming large for India. I mean India lost the two first, uh, the, the first two one day internationals uh, and they have already lost the series to Bangladesh. Bangladesh have done, to, done it to India for the first time in their one day international history of uh, winning the series. They already won the series. So Bangladesh have nothing to lose but for all the eyes will be on India because India as you know the pressure has been really really rising on Mahindra Singh Dhoni the captain uh, with some critics calling for Dhoni said saying that Dhoni should resign but Dhoni came out fiercely and said that uh, he doesn't mind. Uh, uh, um, uh, he, he doesn't mind quitting his post. Uh, as uh, I mean, uh, as, I mean, uh, you know, by quitting his post, and he says that he can always contribute as a player. So he has been a very humble in that respect. And then now, so there's a lot of pressure on India uh, because tomorrow are we going to see a Bangla wash tomorrow? Because right now things are looking very good for Bangladesh. This bowler Mustafizur Rahman. Is he going to make another record tomorrow? Because one is really watching it keenly. Because he has already got the record of uh, two five wicket hauls in his first two matches of his international career and one day international career. And now uh, he, the third one, well, if he can take another five wicket bag, uh, he would be holding a unique record in the annals of one day international history as he would become the first person, uh, first bowler in, the, uh, in one day international history to have taken uh, three five wicket hauls in his first three matches. Whether Mustafizur Rahman can do it and well if he does it, well I can definitely say that Bangla would have, Bangladesh would have done a Bangla wash. Now very very rarely this happens where you know uh, India are the ones always in the driving seat against uh, Bangladesh uh, and then the match, uh, I mean uh, India is already, uh, um, India would have taken the lead and then India would just play for formality, but now it's the other way around. If it's, it's Bangladesh who are playing for the formality. They are on their home turf. Uh, they are brimming with fire and confidence. Uh, and I think uh, India are in uh, for a real uh, drubbing here, uh, in my opinion, uh, after uh, looking at how things have panned out. But well, so what I'll do is I will start off with this India-Bangladesh uh, third one-day international. Uh, which is uh, coming up tomorrow and one is really really waiting for this as we all know uh, this is going to be played uh, in Mir Mirpur so all the three one day matches have been played in Mirpur and well uh, I'm told this pitch is going to be a bit slow too so well now let's have a look at the uh, the India now India what one has to really really wait and watch 
uh, is that what is India going to do? Does India have an answer to the left arm pace balling of this young bloke from Bangladesh who has made tremendous waves uh, by taking 11 wickets in his first two matches of his one day international career? Uh, so whether India have done their homework, have they looked at the videos and they have seen uh, normally what happens is that whenever a bowler comes into a uh, real form, uh, I mean whenever a new bowler comes it takes some time uh, for batsmen to really sort him out. So whether tomorrow we'll know in the third one day whether India has really sorted out their problems with this bloke uh, Mustafa Rahman. Now uh, for India uh, well, uh, the opening start has not been, I mean, it has not been really going on to great proportions and that's what precisely would be needed. Uh, Virat Kohli has not been hitting his straps, so that is also not good news. Uh, and yesterday we saw Ambati Raidu was selected. Dhoni also said that uh, Ajinkya Rahane is not uh, good on slow pitches. Now, uh, well, that is something that is left to question. Because Ajinkya Rahane, I think he should be a permanent member of the Indian team because he has already cemented his place. Uh, well, one has to, but when Dhoni says something, uh, there is always some substance in it. Because as you know, he's an intelligent cricketer uh, and he only does it for the team's sake. So, whether tomorrow Ajinkya Rahane will be included, so that is the question. And I would definitely love to see Ajinkya Rahane being included. Uh, and then, or they are going to go for a all-rounder in the form of Stuart Binney who has already done well against Bangladesh. And being the pitch, the pitch being a bit slow, I wouldn't be surprised if Stuart Binney comes into the team. Now, Shuresh Raina has been doing his job, but, uh, well, the problem has been that uh, there's not been much support for him. Dhoni himself has uh, uh, played a few good innings. Of, uh, I mean, the other day he played, but uh, he has always been coming under some pressure now, and especially considering that uh, even his captaincy is under a bit of pressure, uh, one has to wait and watch uh, how Dhoni's approach would be and how Dhoni is able to uh, take it in his uh, stride here. Uh, Ravindra Jadeja uh, has not done much of note. It's very uh, important uh, to be seen that Ravichandra Nashwin, well, he has always been a good contributor. Now, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, now, what is Aksar Patel, whether he is going to be played tomorrow? So, that is the question. So, I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, uh, Akshar Patel is left out and Stuart Binney is brought in. I would be rather say that Stuart Binney should be brought in. Dawal Kulkarni did a fair job, I suppose, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. Uh, whether um, Umesh Yadav would be given an opportunity, one has to wait and see. Uh, he has been a bit costly. Now, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar and Dawal Kulkarni uh, and Akshar Patel. I think Akshar Patel's place might take the Stuart Binney and Ajinkya Rahane should play. So, that should be the composition. Uh, but one has to wait and watch uh, what the... Uh, the, uh, the, the selectors think about it. Now, let's have a look at the Bangladesh team. Well, Bangladesh, as I said, they are looking full of confidence. In fact, now, um, they, they would definitely like to make it 3-0. Uh, and uh, Bangladesh, I'm told that they have included uh, the leg spinner Jubair Hussain into their squad uh, because they know they, they, they didn't include Jubair Hussain initially as they knew that India Indians are very good players of leg spin. But now, since Bangladesh have already won the one-day series, uh, why not experiment? And uh, they, they are bringing Jubair Hussain uh, into the team. That would be very interesting. Till now, they have play, uh, played with a four-pronged pace attack, and now they are inducting Jubair Hussain because they have won the match, uh, won the series. Uh, uh, well, uh, Bangladesh, as I said, they have uh, ounces of talent now, as you see. Uh, Tommy Mikbal uh, and Soumya Sarkar. Soumya Sarkar has already shown very good talent here. Tommy McBall, we all know what a wonderful player he is. Litton Das has been impressive. Uh, whether tomorrow Mominul Haq might get an opportunity. Uh, now, uh, for that, uh, someone, but I'm sure Bangladesh uh, wouldn't, wouldn't like to let this opportunity go a begging. They would like to go at full strength uh, and actually give it a Bangla wash to India tomorrow. Uh, and uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, uh, always leading from the front. I mean, always a very, very good keeper and captain. Uh, Shaki Bil Hassan, sorry, Mustafa Murtaza is the captain, as you know, but Mustafa Gurrain is a good keeper batsman. Shaki Bil Hassan is another one experience, he is looking in good neck. Sabir Rahman has already shown uh, what a good hitter of the ball he is. Nasir Hussain has already shown uh, his utility uh, to this Bangladesh cricket team, bowling, batting, whatever you name it, he has been doing an excellent job. Mustafa Murtaza, captain, uh, would be riding in with lots of confidence as far as bowling is concerned and also 
his captaincy has been he has been a very good captain now mustafizur rahman all eyes would be on mustafizur rahman tomorrow because if he could get his third five wicket haul uh, what a moment that would be for bangladesh cricket because that would have they would have scripted one day international history tomorrow if mustafizur rahman can pick up another five back against india he would become the first person in the annals of one day international history to do so uh, taskin ahmed they look a bit listless the other day but he is still a very very good bowler Rubel Hussain can give you good breakthroughs, and Jubeir Hussain. Now Jubeir Hussain, I want us to see what Bangladesh do. Whether uh, they 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 drop a pace bowler uh, and bring in Jubeir Hussain, or whether what what their plan is. So that will be interesting to watch. And for uh, Bangladesh, well, one thing I can tell you, oh, the World Cup uh, first time uh, they they came into the quarterfinals in the one day in the World Cup history, uh, and then they trounced Zimbabwe. And then Bangladesh, uh, Pakistan, for the first time, uh, were uh, beaten uh, 3-0. And now I think it's India's time for uh, to to get beaten uh, 3-0 here because they are, everything is looking very right for Bangladesh. And I'm sure Bangladesh will go at full tilt at India tomorrow and with full strength, and so that they can do a Bangla wash uh, and uh, really be proud of this achievement. And if they do that, that will be their 11th consecutive. a win in the tournament and what a moment that would be for bangladesh cricket so so but uh, well also we will have to see how india as uh, whether india has found an answer uh, to this uh, 19 year old uh, boy from bangladesh mustafizur rahman well from here i'm going to do a short uh, preview a brief preview i could say uh, of the only t20 which is coming up to nays so, but I'm, as i'm seeing there's still 3 hours and 23 minutes to go before uh, the final t20 match and the final match of the new zealand tour of england kicks off at uh, manchester in old trafford now uh, well as far as uh, england are concerned uh, well england are um, england were just looking at the squad here morgan uh, is in some great form billings has been doing well butler i mean every uh, batsman every player has been doing well steven fen alex hales uh, adil rashid joe root uh, jason roy has already Uh, done is uh, done is bit there. Ben Stokes, we all know, and Reece Topley is the pace bowler who is coming into the team. That will be very interesting whether he would be making his T20 debut tomorrow. Uh, James Wins, he's a very aggressive batsman, and uh, I mean England have been doing this. England have been blooding a lot of youngsters, and now James Wins might get an opportunity. It would be good to see James Wins in action because he's normally a typical T20 player. Uh, David Billy uh, has uh, done well too. Mark Wood, so it's a uh, it's a, a team which is looking young but very energetic and looking pretty hungry here and as far as new zealand are concerned uh, brendan mcclum grant elliot gupkill henry latham mcclenahan um uh, mcclum mathison uh, is the other one who made his uh, whether he will be making his t20 debut when has to wait and watch adam men um, who is a very good pace bowler uh, luke ronchi uh, santner has been very impressive in his um, uh, in his uh, induction into international cricket Tim Saudi, uh, Ross Taylor, uh, and Kane Williamson. So uh, they are looking, but it, it will be very interesting because we have seen uh, the 50 uh, overs One Day International was contested very fiercely. T20 is um, uh, 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 abbreviated version uh, of this uh, One Day International stuff, and well, uh, it, it should be, uh, in my opinion, I, I think we are going to see some slam bang cricket going on uh, because both the teams are looking hungry and both the teams. are clawing at each other what a match that is going to be the t20 which is coming up and i i i have no doubts that even today's match the final match of the new zealand tour of england is going to be a very high scoring affair i wouldn't be surprised if some records are set because the way england and new zealand are playing there is only one thing in their mind and that is aggression well dear fans and subscribers uh, this really really caps up my cricket happening show for today But as I said, tomorrow I'll be back with you to talk about this T20 match between England and New Zealand. I will also talk about uh, whether it was a Bangla wash or whether India stopped them in their stride yesterday. Whether they found an answer to Mustafizur Rahman or whether Mustafizur Rahman has become the first player in the One Day International history uh, to actually take a five-wicket bag in his first three matches of his One Day International career. Uh, so we will know everything tomorrow. Till such time. Uh, keep your uh, uh, keep yourself uh, uh, keep, uh, be patient and your host ram will be there uh, to entertain you all thoroughly unless um, uh, till such time it's goodbye for the day thank you